Hello. Well, I see we have already quite a lot of people. So um, thank you for coming. Um, so for this webinar, uh, we've done a recording, but with Fabian, we'll be on the chat during the whole recording and we'll come back on stage um, for the questions after. So um, please, if you have any questions, just comment on the chat or in the question tab and uh, I'll see you there. Okay. Hello, thank you for attending our webinar. Today, we will look at our new table conversion feature, which is included in the gdpicture.net intelligent document processing SDK in the table extraction component. I will be your on-camera presenter today, and during the webinar, my colleague Fabien will answer all your questions on the chat. Fabien is a software engineer and is the one who developed the table conversion feature, so do not hesitate to ask him all your technical questions. And me, I'm the former COO of Orpalis and currently Product Marketing Manager for the GDPicture.net SDKs. I'm also a board member of the PDF Association, which is responsible for the evolution of the PDF standard in collaboration with ISO. For those who don't know us, Orpalis is originally a French company specializing in developing PDF and document processing SDKs under the names GDPicture, DocuViewer, and Passport PDF. We're also the editors of the popular end user tools to manage the full life cycle of electronic documents from acquisition to archiving. You may be using our AVPDF web app, for instance. Exactly one year ago, we joined PSPDF kit and we're now working together to bring even more features to a range of products. Today, we'll start with data extraction challenges. Then I will present the jdpicture.net IDP SDK and its components and we'll focus on the table extraction and conversion features and go over their benefits and use cases. Fabien and I will present a demo and we'll keep a few minutes in the end for the remaining questions. As a quick introduction, let's talk about data extraction challenges. All companies now make decisions based on data. By analyzing data and using it to guide decisions, businesses can make better choices, operate more efficiently, improve customer experiences and gain an advantage over competitors. The only problem is that this data is more often than not trapped in unstructured documents. Today, consensus is that between 80 to 90% of all generated documents by an organization contain unstructured data. So unstructured documents like emails, text documents, scanned images or PDFs are not organized or structures, structured, making them inconsistent and challenging to extract information. This inconsistency creates difficulties in developing standard extraction methods, as the same information may be presented differently across documents, and it requires additional effort to normalize and clean the data for analysis. These documents can also be uh, very voluminous, in industries that rely heavily on documentation, such as the finance, healthcare, and legal sectors. Manual analysis can lead to errors and automated processes can be computationally intensive and time consuming, requiring a robust infrastructure and efficient algorithm. So to solve these challenges, data-driven companies use various intelligent document processing techniques and technologies, including NLP, OCR, machine learning, and AI, to extract, pre-process, and analyze unstructured data. So what are the gdpicture.net IDP features? Our OCR is developed in-house and recognizes more than 100 languages on more than 100 file formats. It includes advanced features such as pre-processing and layout analysis, ensuring accurate and reliable results, especially on poor quality scanned business documents. With a robust error correction system, it enhances the accuracy of the results. GDPicture.net OCR is efficient in reading non-Latin scripts and right-to-left languages. It is regularly updated on a weekly basis, ensuring that users have access to the latest features and improvements. Key value pair extraction is a process of automatically extracting pairs of data elements from unstructured or semi-structured data sources. This data is typically uh, represented as key value pair, where the key represents a label or category, and the value represents the associated data. So our KV KVP extraction engine 
uh, offers more than just key and value fields. It also includes type and accuracy data. So type data specifies the type of content, such as phone number, name, IBAN, or credit card number. Accuracy data indicates the level of confidence in the extracted information, taking into account various parameters. So there are different ways of removing personal and sensitive information from electronic documents. For each method, it is critical to use the right tools that will not only hide the information, but actually destroy it in a way that is not retrievable. So Smart Redaction uses IDP technologies to analyze documents and automatically identify sensitive information. This process is more accurate and efficient than manual or semi-automated redaction that uses OCR and regular expressions. Smart Redaction combines OCR with layout analysis and NLP, so it's performant on poor quality document and images. And then we have, the, of course, the table extraction features that we will see in more details in the next slides. So at first glance, the concept of a table may seem simple. However, computers often struggle to identify tables in electronic documents, while humans can do so quickly. This is partly due to the need for a universally agreed table definition. Tables can have different hierarchies among their cells, and headers may be positioned at the top, left, or right. They can also take on various forms, such as tabular layouts without outlines, stacked layouts without vertical lines, mixed layouts combining different formats, and justify layouts. The jdpicture.net table extraction tool includes conversion to the structured format XLXX and JSON. So while machine-readable JSON represents the data in text-only form, when looking for a table conversion to Excel en engine, several visual and, and rendering capabilities need to be supported. To be considered accurate, the tool should be able to extract tables from all unstructured documents and recognize and extract borders, semi-bordered semi and borderless tables, extract multiple tables in the same document, and extract tables that span pages, all while preserving the visual aspect of the original table. A table conversion to Excel component enables converting images, PDFs, and more than 100 formats to XLXX. It supports converting tables to multiple sheets or the same sheet. It preserves the original formatting while retaining font size, text alignment, and line thickness. So when choosing an IDP toolkit, why would you choose jdpicture.net IDP SDK over another solution? So what are the highlights of our components? So first, if we look at the features, jdpicture.net supports more than 100 formats as inputs, as we just saw. Our KVP component is also quite innovative as it is a low level tool that can work as a basis of any custom data extraction engine that you can adapt to any industry needs. Then our technology is, is quite unique for an SDK that uses AI. Indeed, we're using a hybrid approach that combines mathematics, heuristics and AI with an adaptive engine that consumes only the resources needed for each task. For instance, you won't need the same resources for processing a native PDF with a simple table and clear text and a scanned image that is queued with a lot of noise. Furthermore, the toolkit doesn't require any training, making GD Picture a very resource efficient SDK, especially when batch processing a large sum of documents, contrary to tools that are 100% AI based. Regarding the licensing, we're developing our, co our own components so this means that when we're selling you the solution, we don't, mean, we don't need to make you pay for the additional cost of a third-party tool. This also means that we're responsible for fixes and updates and that you don't have to wait for another company to provide the improvements you need. And finally, one word about security. The IDP SDK works offline without dependencies, so you have better control of your, of your data that isn't being sent or hosted to third-party servers. So when converting tables to structured formats, you will find the same benefits regardless of the industry you're working in. So for companies uh, dealing with large volumes of data, automatic the, the automating the extraction process ensures that the data is consistently and accurately transferred to Excel or JSON, reducing manual effort and minimizing the chances of human errors. 
So table extraction allows company to consolidate data from various sources and formats into a single standardized format. This consolidation makes it easier to analyze and gain insight from the data. Excel provides robust reporting capabilities to create reports and dashboards. Data can be easily organized, summarized, and visualized using charts, graphs, and pivot table. These visual representations make it easier to communicate insights and share findings with stakeholders. Excel and JSON integrate well with a variety of data analysis tools and systems. Extracted tables can be easily imported into specialized software or databases for further analysis, modeling, or integration with business intelligence systems. So we're now going to overview several industry use cases. For each of them, the table extraction feature can be combined with any of our 3,000 other features that are included in gdpicture.net. So remember that we provide all the tools you need for scanning, converting, processing, securing, and archiving electronic documents. So now if we look at financial services, table extraction can be used to extract data from balance sheets, income and cash flow statements, annual reports, and other financial documents. This can help analysts and investors to make informed investment decisions. Table extraction can also be used to identify irregularities or inconsistencies in financial data that may indicate fraudulent activities, such as money laundering, tax evasion, and other issues like this. Banks can use table extraction to automate the loan processes. This involves extracting data from loan applications, credit reports, and financial statements to evaluate credit worthiness and make lending decisions. It's also useful with risk management. By extracting data from statements, credit reports, market data, risk managers can evaluate risk associated with investments, loans, and other financial products. So finally, financial institutions are required to comply with various regulation and transparency laws. An automatic and reliable table extraction can be used to ensure compliance, compliance with these regulations. If we now look at the benefits for the legal industry. So law firms and legal departments deal with a large volumes of documents, including contracts, agreements, court filing, and case laws. An automatic table extraction tool that is also fast and resource efficient enhances the search and retrieval capabilities of these documents. This is particularly useful when searching for personal and sensitive data trapped in tables when conducting legal research. Extracted tables can, easily, um, can be easily shared and distributed among team members, enabling efficient collaboration on case-related information. Additionally, Excel's familiar interface allows teams to work with the extracted data using their preferred tools and techniques. Legal firms and departments must comply with various regulation and reporting requirements. IDP tools can help monitor the content of existing and incoming contracts to prevent fraud and ensure compliance. Finally, you can simplify due diligence and audits, identify potential risk easily, and check if legal requirements have been met by cross-referencing data extracted from various sources. In healthcare, some of the use cases could be so patient registration automation, so you can streamline the process of collecting, entering, and verifying patient and insurance data from scanned documents. Patient record uh, integration, so you can integrate digitized paper and images from existing patient records into he electronic health record workflows. Fraud prevention and compliance, so you can check documents and images that include tables for GDPR and HCC regulations and anonymize the information if needed and you can automatically process claim forms with advanced data extraction technologies to capture information from various medical documents. Government agencies can benefit from our technologies in many contexts. Automatic table extraction and conversion to Excel facilitates transparency by extracting data from government reports and making it easily accessible to stakeholders in a standardized format. XLX6, which is based on Office Open XML, is an ISO standard. So policies and programs require rigorous analysis and evaluation. By automatically extracting tables and converting them, 
policymakers and analysts can perform statistical analysis, track key performance indicators, and assess the impact of policies. Regarding compliance, IDP streamlines the process of extracting data from various sources, ensuring accuracy, consistency, and timely reporting. Government often work across multiple departments and agencies to address complex, complex issues. Extracted tables in a standard format can easily be shared among different government entities, enabling efficient collaboration on data analysis, research, and policy development. And lastly, many governments have open data initiatives to make information accessible to the public. With all tools, government can provide structured and downloadable downloadable data sets, encouraging public use, research, and innovation. And now we'll go to the demo. Fabien and I are now going to show you a few documents uh, so you can see the kind of results you can expect with our toolkit. So to test the SDK, you simply uh, go to our website and uh, you will find the download page uh, here and uh, you can download the, the package of the SDK. And uh, we're releasing uh, new versions every week or so, and uh, you can see the change log here. And for the first demo, I will let Fabien show you how to use the table conversion to Excel exit features with gdpicture.net. Hello, I am Fabien, software engineer at PSPDF Kit. And today I will show you a demo about PDF to XLSX uh, conversion. Um, first, here our um, testing case for, for today. This is a financial statement on a PDF, but uh, this is mostly an image. We, we cannot select uh, any text and there is no metadata about uh, the table or anything. So, I will uh, start the the project. Here we go. So we don't need a lot of code to to do that. This is mainly uh, loading the the PDF, uh, then running the OCR, setting some options for for the spreadsheet, like uh, if we want to separate the table or render everything on the same sheet, and then save as uh, XLSX. So I will run the the program um, will pop up because I use a demo key. Okay, it's running, and we should have the results here. Okay, we have it. So financial statement, and we have the table. Uh, you can see uh, this is same table. Everything is placed at the correct uh, place and we have the correct value if we want we can uh, now edit uh, edit everything and yeah um, also I can show you another example with uh, with these invoices invoice so the, there is multiple table on it there is four table and we, in this case we want to render everything on the same um, on the same document and same sheet. So I will uh, use the correct file, running the, the project, okay. And now we should also have the, the result for the invoice. I'm opening it. Here we go, we have, uh, we have four, four tables. And with the correct text, we can uh, editing uh, everything. So, so yeah, this is it. We can also use the page layout to to render uh, the file or what we want to do. So, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any question, I will be here during the presentation. And yeah, that's all. Thank you. For the next demo, I'll be using the PSPDF Kit web demo, which is available on the PSPDF Kit website. So you will find it on documentation, launch demo, and then you have it in the data extraction menu in a PDF table extraction. 
So while it's loading, uh, you can see that this demo um, uses uh, the gdpicture.net IDP SDK via um, the REST API that is called uh, Passport PDF. So if you want to learn more about Passport PDF, you can look at it on its website. And in the developer's menu, you can find more about all the features of our REST API. Um, then, so if we look at uh, the sample we have loaded in the web demo, uh, you can see it's a scanned uh, invoice uh, in PDF. And um, the difficulty here is to correctly detect and extract two tables. So this first table, uh, uh, even if it seems quite simple, actually the difficulty here is to determine uh, which of the two columns uh, is the header. And uh, you can only do that um, if the meaning of the text is taken into consideration uh, by the engine. And then for the second table, uh, the difficulty is to correctly uh, detect a horizontal header and a vertical header. So now we're going to see uh, about the extraction. So you can download um, the extraction in JSON. So you obtain a classical JSON file and you find that the text is the same as here. And then you can download uh, as Excel, Excel X6. So and now we need to see if our two tables are correctly extracted. And yes, you can see that we have our two tables. For the next example, I'm going to download um, a real document. I mean, it's not a document that has been made for, uh, for a demo. <laughs> so you will see how it looks like. So I've redacted all the personal information, of course. And so here we have several difficulties. It's to uh, correctly detect. Um, so we have one, two, three, four uh, different uh, tables in a file that has a really um, a low quality. And that is that has tables inside uh, a lot of different uh, text and different elements. So let's see how it's uh, rendered in Excel. Okay, so we can find we had like our small uh, table at the top and then we have we have our other tables that are correctly rendered here. Now we're going to uh, use uh, images. Um, so I'm going to download this document. Okay, it's a bit long to download. Okay, so here uh, we have uh, two tables, like the title is detected as a table because it has different uh, cells. And also what's um, the difficulty here, it's to um, detect the header because um, if we look, for instance, at the file in text, so we can see a bit better. Yeah, so uh, the difficulty here is we have different uh, rows that have a gray background. So um, the system needs to uh, define which one is the header and why not all of them are detected as headers. So you can see here that it has correctly detected the first row as header and not the other uh, grayed out uh, rows. So if we look at the result in Excel, so we should have two tables rendered. And yes, so we have our title that is in a table. And then we have 
all or like a bigger table here. Uh, now if I'm taking another image, so uh, here what I have, okay, so it's like an invoice or a packing slip, like yeah, it looks like an invoice. Um, and we have here uh, many different tables also. So we have one, two, three, four. Like this one is detected as a table because it's not attached to uh, the one above. So, and it's really, uh, they are really located in different parts uh, of the document. So let's look at the result here. So we have, yeah, everything is correctly rendered. Then what else do we have? Uh, okay, this one. So here we have a nested table inside the page. So um, we need to extract the information from this nested table. And we only want this information and we have it correctly uh, rendered in Excel. Then uh, uh, the one we did and the last one. Okay, this one. So this one is a financial uh, statement and uh, um I, I we see it better if it's in text we can see that we don't have um the vertical lines that uh, delimitate uh, the table so we only have horizontal uh, lines but uh, it's correctly detected uh, as a table and if we look at the result We can see that uh, we kept uh, the layout of the original document, so with no uh, vertical lines, and uh, we get all the information uh, from the table. So now regarding the integration. Um, you can use the gdpicture.net IDP technologies to build solutions for various environments and languages. We provide cr cross-platform SDKs for desktop, web, and cloud development. So take a look at jdpicture.net, DocuViewer, and Passport PDF for more information. And thank you very much for your attention. Fabian and I are now going to answer any remaining questions. Okay, so I see that we had a lot of uh, questions. Uh, I'm going to see uh, if there are any questions we didn't answer, I think, in the question tab. Uh, yes, I see one. So um, uh, Guillermo is asking, what is a better input for process, like color or bitonal? Is it better to let the algorithm work on the, from a master image or to pre-process the image to enhance um, the document, I think? So... Um, I don't know if Fabien, if you saw this question, um, but I would say that in a general basis, I think I've seen another uh, question that is asking uh, um, what, like the quality of the images you need to uh, to have. Uh, usually, we, you need to have at least um, three hundred DPI uh, images to uh, to get. Uh, I mean, for especially for scanned image, to get some uh, some good results because under this um, quality of, of image, maybe you don't get uh, as good results. Um, and also, um, okay, so in any case, um, we keep all the questions in the chat. So this means that if we forgot for some reason the question, you will get an email back uh, with an answer. 
and uh, you can find um, yeah, like all our contact information and the support and sales forms and everything on the JD Picture uh, website. So it's jdpicture.com. And uh, there are diff different ways to, to contact us. And uh, also, uh, oh, uh, Bashir is asking if we're using um, uh, training models. No, we uh, we were not using uh, um, any uh, external training models. So uh, so you don't get uh, any dependencies uh, with the SDK. Um, all right, so I think that was uh, the last question. So thank you very much uh, for joining and uh, we will see you next time. Thank you, bye.